What's up? Hello. Hello. What's up, guys? I haven't been on Instagram Live in a while. I don't know how many people will get here, but uh, I'm fucking bored. What's up, Indonesia? I want to go to Bali. How is it there? Do the mosquitoes eat everybody? I'm afraid of mosquitoes because they love me so much. My blood is sweet like sugar. What's up? How you guys doing? I'm bored as hell. My wife is in Ukraine. She's probably going to be waking up here soon. Uh, I'm just bored. I've been busy. I've been working all day. We're going to release a trailer for Alonia soon, like in a few hours. And I'm also having a Black Friday sale. So I'll tell you guys about it first. We haven't announced it yet, but... If you guys are familiar with my other band, Alonia, with my wife, uh, the music we create together, or the clothing line we have, Be Real and Co., you can go to BeRealAndCo.com, you can use the discount code Alonia35 at checkout, and you'll get 35% off every order until Sunday night at 11.30 p.m. Pacific time. So, if you guys want some cool shit, like this shirt that I'm wearing right here, oh wait, no, we, we don't sell that shirt, that's a Metallica shirt. Um... We sell some pretty badass shirts. Here, I'll show you. Let's go check it out. Just don't mind all this stuff. We got like uh, the Be Real and Co stuff in here. And I send it, I'll send it right to you guys. We got some stickers here. I'll send you some stickers. Uh, I'll package it for you. I'll put some stuff in there. I don't know. Maybe I'll surprise you guys. We got the Keys and Roses still. We got some purple ones left. We got the Sacred Geometry shirts. Uh, I think there's some... Alonia shirts down here. Oh, there they are. Yep. We still got a couple of these old school ones. We got shirts. If you guys want to pick it up, 35% off. Alonia 35 at checkout. That's for every order. If you order one t-shirt and then you order the next day, you will get the same discount until Sunday at 11.30 p.m. Pacific time. But anyway, I just want to throw that out there right now. This is not just one giant sales pitch. I am literally bored and I wanted to come say what's up to you guys. So, what's up? You got any questions for me? I'm here chilling. Drinking a, uh, this guy. Having a beer. Um, I don't think Black Veil Brides is touring. I don't know. I don't know when the next time we'll be touring. Maybe, uh... I don't know. I I, have, I I don't know. We just finished our cycle, so I'm working on my project, Alonia. Andy's doing his Andy Black thing. He's filming his uh, Paradise City TV show right now. Uh, the other guys are working on their thing, so we're all kind of doing some stuff. Uh, we're going to be doing the re-record of We Sissy's Wounds sometime in 2019. I'll be producing it, so I'll be doing most of it, but um, I, don't, I, I don't know exactly when, but it'll be sometime, and then that's going to come out in 2020. It'll be the 10-year anniversary of that record. So I imagine you guys will probably have to wait till then. I don't know why we didn't come to Europe this year. Uh, what we, we, we did, we played a couple shows there, but we didn't do like a tour, which sucks. I love Europe, and I want to come play all the places. We haven't played everywhere in Europe, but uh, I'm working on Alonia, so I'm going to come I'm gonna come see you guys. And my wife is going to come see you guys. She's over in Ukraine right now. She's coming back on the 27th, so... Thanksgiving is literally right now, but here in America, it's still like, it's not even 2 a.m. yet. What time is it? It is, it's 1.51 a.m., so I'm going to go to bed soon, but I told Ina that I would be up until she got up, so I have to show her the final version of the first trailer for the next Alonia single, the video we're releasing. It's a teaser. And it's not a typical teaser because we're kind of making like a, more of a movie style music video. It's a little bit different. It's a music video, but it's more cinematic than, oh, here's a band playing in a warehouse. It's not that bullshit. Every, it's just, it's not that. This is epic. So we did it all ourselves. We had a couple people help us that are uh, awesome and... No big fancy cameras, no big budget. We did this like literally no budget. Um, some gear that we invested in, you know, maybe a couple thousand dollars on some uh, a Sony a7 III camera and some lenses. And then uh, we just found really fucking great locations and a 
a Mavic, a DJI Mavic Pro drone. That's it. That's it. No big Sony Red cameras. No Ari Alexa. Nothing. None of that. No big crew. Four of us, including me and my wife, Ina, who are the talent of Alonia. And we made a fucking badass video, and I can't wait to show you guys. It's like epic. It's like a movie. And we're editing it, and we're doing all the color correction and the effects and everything. And, like, I'm learning so much in Premiere Pro, and I'm trying to learn how to do... Uh, I want to learn more in After Effects. I'm just barely scratching the surface. I haven't even opened the program, but I'm watching tutorials. Just trying to learn how to do fucking everything, and it's tough. And I still got to finish the record and, and mix and master all the rest of the songs. But it's sounding badass. I know you guys are going to love it. Anyway, what's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm just telling you what's going on with me. Yes, Ina is in Ukraine. She's still there. She's coming back on the 27th. Please come to India. You know what? I would love to go to India. I've never been there, and that's a place I would love to go. And, I, you know, I love traveling to new places that I've never been. So India is definitely on the bucket list. I want to go to India. I've never been to China. I've never been to Africa. So I'd like to go to South Africa. I want to go to China, and I would love to go to India. And there's a lot of other places too, but for sure, those are on my list. Indonesia, I've never been there. I definitely... Would love to go there and play shows, but I'd also love to go there as a tourist and just hang out in Bali and like chill. However, like I said, I am afraid of the mosquitoes. I lived in Hawaii in 2005, and you know I've been there many times since. But uh, the mosquitoes there are big. I can't imagine how big they are in uh, Indonesia. Should come to Colombia. I'm down. I have been to the airport in. Bogota? I had a layover there one time going to Brazil. Who is the one person you would want to open for you guys? To open? Hmm. Well, that's a tricky question. I would say I would like either Five Finger Death Punch or Avenged Sevenfold to open for us because then that would mean that we're a bigger band than they are and... That would be awesome because they're fucking huge. <laughs> Black Briar. What? Hello, Greece. Every time. It's like Brazil or Greece. Come to Brazil. Come to Greece. I want to come to both. I've been to Brazil several times. I have not been to Greece. Saw you in Memphis. Hell yeah, that's awesome. I would tell you to come back to Los Angeles, but you live here. Yes, I'm, I'm in Los Angeles right now. <laughs> do you like New York? Yes, I do. Uh, I don't know if I would want to live there ever, uh, but uh, I think it's really cool. I'm kind of like a nerd, so I'm in, I don't know if you want to say inspired or just like intrigued. I'm probably more intrigued by skyscrapers, so very tall structures impress me and that's why I really want to go to Dubai because I want to see the tallest building in the world. I've never been to Dubai. I would love to go there. Can I save this live stream when I end it? Yeah, sure. New Zealand. I have been to New Zealand one time. I've been to Auckland. That's the only place. It was actually pretty cool. I went and walked around. I went to the, uh, I tried to go up to the, uh, tower thing that kind of looks like either the Space Needle or the CN Tower in Toronto, if it's still called that. Um, it's a lot smaller than that one, but uh, there was like an, a line of like 80 old people there, and I was just like, well, I'm not going to wait here. We played a festival there with like Corn and Five Finger Death Punch, and oh man, I think Rob Zombie was there. Uh, a bunch of big bands were there. It was pretty cool. I was like 2013 or 14, I can't remember. Blizzard, what's up? Iceland, never been there, but that place looks beautiful. That's a place that I would love to go and do some, like, cinematography stuff. Take the cameras with the gimbals, with this guy right here, with the DJI Ronin-S. Take the drones out, fly that. 
Man, Iceland would be great for that. I've never been there. There's so many places I want to go. Look at this. I have... My, my world map is now over here. But look, like, I've been... Yeah, lived in Hawaii. Sorry, it's a little dark here. But these are just, like, I... I've been to more places, but these are, like, all shows we played. And we've been to these places multiple times. I mean, I, I can't just stick a billion things here. So it's just kind of like trying to remember over all the years of everywhere we've been. So here's South America. We've been to Chile several times down here, Brazil. Um, I didn't count going to the airport there. Uh, let's see. We've been all over Europe. You know, UK is just a black dot because we play there all the time. But um, Spain, I would love to go back to Spain and not be sick. And I'd actually like to go there just as a tourist and go to Barcelona. I really want to go to Barcelona. Never been to Portugal. Would love to go there. Um, been to France several times. I've been to the Eiffel Tower three times. Um, and then Germany. You know, I can't even count how many times we've been to Germany and everywhere there. Uh, we've been to Finland. We've been to Sweden. Did I not mark Sweden? No, I did. Stockholm's over here. But we've been somewhere else there too, but I don't know where it's at. Finland, Russia, all, we've been deep into Russia, all the way to here. Novosibirsk, we've been all the way here. We did this tour, we did, so we, uh, we went here to UK, played some shows, we did a whole mainland Europe tour, and then we went up to uh, Stockholm, we went to Finland, we went to St. Petersburg, we played Moscow, which was one of my favorite shows I've ever played in my life. And then we just went doot, 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 doot. And then we flew all the way, or we flew from here to Moscow. And then we flew from Moscow all the way to JFK. And then we flew down to Monterey, Mexico. And then we did Mexico. We did Guadalajara. We did Mexico City. And then we went to Brazil. And after that, we went back to LA, back home. That was in 2015. That was a long freaking tour, but it was pretty sweet, but it was exhausting. Um, but, you know, like I said, some of my favorite shows that we've ever played were there, so it's cool. So, yeah, uh, favorite solo to play live. Ooh, um, you know, hmm. I really, really like the solo that I wrote for uh, When They Call My Name. Uh, it's, you know, that song, I'll just be honest, the song's kind of boring and slow. That doesn't mean it's not a good song, but the solo is just vibey and epic, and I really like the solo in that one, so probably that's one of my favorite solos to play. Would I tour with Panic at the Disco? Fuck yeah. I would love to have that opportunity. Favorite band, Alonia. Please come to India. I, I'm down. Please, please have us come. Please have me come. Please have Alonia come. Please have BBB come. I will come all over India. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> what do I suggest as a first tattoo? Uh, I want to get one, but I can't think of what to get. Any suggestions? I really want a lyric tattoo, but can't think of one. Um... I would get Here I Am, Rocky Like a Hurricane. I'm just kidding. Don't get that. Uh, you, you know, that's up to you. I, I can't tell you what to get. That, it has to be something that means something to you and only you. And as long as it means something to you, then it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So that's it. That's my best advice. Favorite game? Call of Duty Black Ops 4. What do I think of Pally Royale? Uh, I'm friends with those guys. They're super sweet, nice dudes. Love them. I think Alonia needs to go on tour with Palais Royale. What do you guys think? Where is Andy? I don't know. Probably at home with his wife. Maybe he's in Cincinnati with his family. I don't know. I want to meet you too. What are your thoughts on My Chemical Romance splitting? And do you think the Smashing Pumpkins theory is true? Okay, first of all, I don't know what the Smashing Pumpkins theory is. I've probably been too busy to even hear about it, but please inform me what it is. 
Sorry, excuse me, I'm gonna die right now. Ugh. I'm getting weird, like, hiccup burps. Sorry. Um, my Chemical Romance split up a long time ago. I don't understand why, because they were freaking basically, like, they were there. I don't understand a lot of things. I don't understand a lot of things people do, or what goes on in people's minds. Um, you're never gonna have an explanation, because a lot of people won't just tell you what's going on, and there's reasons why, but I don't know. I don't know why they split. It sucks that they did. You know, they were a great band, so maybe one day they'll get back together. I, I feel, I have hope that one day they will just decide to go, fuck it, let's go do a tour. And I've seen them, I saw them at Warp Tour in Minneapolis uh, in 2004. Avenged Sevenfold was on it, Atreyu was on it, My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, uh, The Bled. It was, it was a sick Warp Tour. And guess what? I went by myself and I was in the crowd walking around. Back in 2004, I was just like everybody else out there in the crowd. So that's proof that goes to show if you believe in yourself, you can do anything you fucking want in this world. I would go there to see my favorite bands and see bands I never heard before and get inspiration to go, fuck yeah, one day I'll be up there. All right, I got to scroll through these comments to get caught up. How do you take care of your tattoos? Well, you only have to really take care of them for the most part when you first get them. Like the first two weeks is crucial. Uh, and then like maybe the first month, uh, you just use non-scented lotion. And I use a Vino uh, non-fragrance, fra fragrance, fragrance, I can't say that word, fragrance lotion. And you let it heal, it's gonna get real itchy, and then it'll peel, and you keep using lotion, and then you just uh, don't go out in the sun and get sunburnt right away. Um, try to not do that. I wanna meet you too, I wanna meet everybody. My first concert. My first real concert was uh, in the year 2000, when I lived in Boise, Idaho. I went and saw Slipknot was headlining. The uh, self-titled record just came out. And there was a band called Five Seconds of Silence or Five, Five Minutes of Silence or something like that. I can't remember. I don't know. Nothing ever happened with that band. They just disappeared. And then the opener was Mudvayne. And they hadn't even put out their first record yet. So I saw Mudvayne. I saw this other band. Like Mudvayne played and I was like, wow, like these guys were crazy. And then the next band played and it was just like, eh. And then Slipknot came out and just fucking wrecked the place. Idaho. No, Utah. <laughs> Would I ever tour Motionless and White? Uh, we actually already did way back in the day. Like, I think it was when we were still touring in a van back in 2010. Motionless and White actually toured with us. Um, but yeah, I would absolutely tour with them again. Nice dudes, love them. Can you please come to Iraq? Really? Damn, we got fans in Iraq even? That's awesome. I'm down to go everywhere and play music for you guys, anywhere you want us to go. The problem is, is it costs a lot of money to get there. So to get there, to put on the shows, to have people come with us, to make it all happen. Um, I, I, I'm just letting you guys know that I personally want to go everywhere. I want to meet every single one of you and I will do whatever I can in my power with Black Veil Brides, with Alonia, with whatever I'm trying to do. I'm trying to come everywhere and meet you guys. I saw something here I wanted to, uh, what do I think of 21 Pilots? I think they're great. Would you come to Washington? I've been there a million times. I have family in Washington. Do I listen to power metal? Um, you know, my music taste has changed a little bit, but, oh, you know what? I just realized back here, I missed a spot when I shaved. I don't know. Can you guys see this? I just feel that there's hair back here and I missed. Don't you hate that? Um, power metal, eh. Like Dragon Force, maybe. I, I'm not really, like, listening to a ton of metal. I'm writing music, but I'm listening to more like 
pop music or like EDM music and just getting inspiration from other things. Uh, but mostly like rock stuff I'm listening to is just what I'm writing. Jake Pitts is underrated. Fuck yeah. Okay, hang on guys. Hold on a second. The shaving struggle. It's brutal. That's my favorite state. Oh, well. Hmm. None of them. None. They all have ups and downs, pros and cons. Come to Latvia. Ina used to live there. Say some words about the AE music video. All right, uh, I'm down. So I'm going to show you guys. Hey, guys, I got to go. Uh, my wife is calling me. So hold on. Maybe. No, she's not. She just woke up. She's not going to want to live stream. Um, I was going to show you the trailer, but it'll be up in a couple hours anyway. So make sure you go follow Aloni Official on Instagram and the trailer will be up. It'll be on YouTube as well on YouTube.com slash Alonia. So go check it out. It'll be up in a few hours. All right. Love you guys. Peace.